Guys, I'm back with another video. Okay. What's the shift that you're currently going through the most? It could be yourself, okay? Your identity. This is something that you could be experiencing no matter when you fall on this video, no matter when you hear this video. You could be going through a huge identity shift. This is also known as quantum leaping. Leaping into the unknown, where everything just poofs and vanishes, but that's where the impossible could happen because it's just blank. This is where the possibilities actually can happen. So I'm really excited to get into this reading. I have created three different tarot cards based on the energy that the universe was giving me, the three that I was most called to. So whatever card you're drawn to the most or whatever image you're drawn to the most is gonna be your reading. As you guys can see here, I have three different images that you can choose from. I have this inspiration to create tarot cards and these are just examples of tarot cards coming to life. And this is something that I'm really, really inspired to do. And so I'm taking the energy that the universe is giving me and I'm channeling the message and I'm creating different tarot cards with different energy. If you guys are interested in being part of that rollout and receiving a mystery tarot card based on your channeled energy, you guys can find all that information down below if you guys are looking to get your own custom tarot card where I'm creating it, designing it, and also just channeling the message from the energy. So I'll have you send me an image and then I will basically create an image around your channeled energy and what the universe is saying about you. So I don't know, that just came to me like out of nowhere and I'm like, oh my God, I love this. So you guys are seeing my tarot cards are, whoo, they come into life, literally. That is so dope. I literally just thought the universe is like, you love to do this, just create a mystery tarot card for people based on their energy. So. Based on your energy, these are the three images that I was inspired to create based on where you are in your spiritual shift. So this is going to be a channel message from the universe based on your shift within yourself. What is going on? We're going to be taking a higher perspective look. So looking through the eyes of the universe, this is a higher perspective. All right. So high that you have to really get out of what's in front of you to see the message. And so that's even a message right there. So I'm excited to jump into the reading. All right, so I'll see you guys on the other end. If you're looking to book readings, looking for anything else, you can always find that down below in this description box alone. All right, I'll see you guys on the other side. I'll see you on the other side. I'll see you. All right, I'll see you guys on the other side. I don't know why I'm doing that. Okay, I'll see you guys on the other side. Card one, if you guys were drawn to this image, then this is the message directly from the universe regarding what is going on within yourself. What is the current shift that you are feeling in your life? If you guys were drawn to this image, I created card number one. All right, some of you might feel like things are not going as planned, but that's the fun part, they are. <laughs> and the thing is, is there's an easier path. There's an easier path, there's an easier way is what I'm hearing. Card one, you must trust that I'm leading the way, the universe is saying. So even if you feel like things are not going as planned, they actually are. So what is the overall shift that card one is experiencing and feeling in their life? Thank you. Whoa, we have all of these cards that came out. Of course you're a singer. I was singing going into this deck. All right, so singer, artist, creator, whatever you have, your creations are connected to your abundance. Abundance of what? Abundance of opportunities, abundance of resources, abundance of connection. There is an easier way. Everything in your path right now is being redirected, all right? So that's what I'm getting already. So you are going into the shift of the humpback whale, the bee and the elk. So I'm hearing, don't overlook the value you have to offer. There is an easier way. Once again, there's an easier way, card one. That's what you've come to hear. There's an easier way, and you actually are being led by unconditional love, which comes directly from source in the universe. So sing healing songs for the world. Your inner navigation always guides you. Nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal. Align with your purpose and the power in your soul. What is your purpose? There's a video on the tarotchest.com if you guys wanna see that video if it's still up. If not, there's other videos, I'm sure, surrounding your purpose. So you are here to live your dreams. You are here, that is your goal, to live your dream. You're coming up as the humpback whale. This is a very rare 
mammal. I believe it's a mammal. I believe it's a mammal. All right, so I'm definitely sensing the universe is redirecting your steps, even your falls were necessary to get you to where you are. You are a powerful creator. Your work blesses everything you touch. Everything you touch is meant to turn to gold. The only requirement is that you actually enjoy it. Because if you don't, your vibration will tell on you. You are the queen of abundance. Abundance of what? Wisdom. You have an abundance of accomplishments you are meant to receive. You are meant to be crowned with success. Powerful forces are guiding you and your ability to conquer challenges is limitless. Why? Because you have universe guiding you, card number one. But some of these, if they're redirection, you have to understand from a higher perspective. If there was a guinea pig in a maze and you are above it, but the guinea pig cannot see past the doorway and you can, you might just destroy the whole door and the, and the guinea pig may be like, oh, wow, why isn't anything working out for me? God doesn't want it to work out. <laughs> it's funny, some of the things I hear, even in the webinars. <laughs> God's blocking me. I heard this. Yes, this is the thing. And it's like, no, you're doing that to yourself, babe. You're doing that to yourself. So it's like, if it's not working, why are you forcing so here's the thing, that's why universe is redirecting. So from the higher perspective, you see, oh, if the guinea pig goes in this door, it's gonna take them forever because then once they get past there, your higher self can see way above what's in front of you, right? So you have to trust that you're being led if you wanna be successful. You're talking about being one of the 1%. Not everyone is aligned with success. Success is subjective, even that. You could definitely be an earth sign. There's a lot of practical, or you could be an air sign too. Okay, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I feel like you guys probably already know this by now. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's not a practical thing. It's not like, okay, go here, go here, go here, and then the next step, it's like, you're inspired, go there. The key word for you is excitement. Is it bringing you excitement? Excitement can only come from God, the universe. Excitement, what excites you? You're so worried about the plan, card one, and this is where you have to let go of control, and this is why your steps are being mis or redirected and guided. Let's see what's going on in card one's life. Okay, let's get two more. Look at that, 10 of cups already in reverse. Something is not in harmony the way that it should be. Three of pentacles, all right? We have the queen of pentacles, which like I said, you could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There's a lot of focus on work, a lot of focus on career, a lot of focus on success. What is success? What are successful people doing? You're coming up as the queen of pentacles. You are already successful. It is already meant for you. So let it just come for you. Like, it's like a, a bee saying, well, where will my honey come from? It's like, you know what I mean? Let it come. Let the honey come, all right? Milk and honey, you are meant to be in a very lavish lifestyle, card one. You have the queen of pentacles right under the queen of abundance. Out of all 78 cards, these are the ones that came out. There's a lot of convincing that the universe has to do. And that's something that you're letting, letting go of is just trusting so that you can have peace of mind of knowing that you're being guided down the right path and it is success. You're born to be successful. You are already successful. And therefore everything that represents success must come to you because of who you are. So you don't have to run around to make this happen. We even have the 10 of pentacles. This is the wealth in reverse, all right? So why is this in reverse? We have our wealth in reverse. We have support. We have the devil here. So there is, again, it could be more boundaries with work. Replacing the word work with creating. 
to feel good is to feel God. I've said this so many times. So if it feels good to work, and some people will convince themselves because they're getting the check, move the money out of the way. Let's say you're not getting paid. If it still feels good to work, you love to work. Nothing wrong with that. That is who you are. Very rare because you're a creator, you're not meant to work. What you do in creative measure may even look like work to others, but it comes so natural and easy to you. So it's not work. What's work to others could be creation to you is what I'm getting. You are meant to be connected to a community that helps you. You're not meant to do it all on your own, Miss Independent, Mr. Independent. And you're wondering why you're putting things together and they're not, okay? Listen, I'm coming from a place of love. It's very important that you know that. Stay strong in reverse. You wouldn't have to be so strong for what is just easily meant for you. You know, so we have stay strong in the reverse. So it's like, it's meant to be easy, meant to be natural, and it's meant to be your heart. Now we have some color here. Before it's like gold, money, gold. That's all I'm like, do we have some Virgos, some Capricorns and some Tauruses in here? And then also imagining your life as if you already have it. You have to go above survival. Once 10,000 a month feels easy to you, then 20,000 will feel easy to you. Some of you want to own private jets and already do in your imagination. If you see yourself, you, that is the truth. If you can see yourself and you've imagined yourself in it, it is meant for you. That is the truth. You are literally going to a place unseen world. You even know success is for you. Abundance, you know these things. Devil card here. So Capricorn energy, you are meant to have earthly things. This is what you're meant to have. Now, once it becomes easy to you, it's meant to be easy. What's easy is meant for you. So, so then you would start with slowly expanding yourself. Some of you, there's a lot of impatience with yourself. It's not the universe, it's you. The universe delivers now instantly. The only reason why you don't have it if you want it is because you're resisting it. This is also the truth. Okay, these will be truths that you come to discover. Many people don't even become that enlightened to discover that. So that tells me you're at an advantage here, but you're not using your lifeline. Yeah, who wants to be a millionaire, but you're like, nah, I'm not gonna use my lifeline. And the universe is like, yo, tag me, tag me in. I'm telling you, you can't see over there. I'm looking and this is not equipped for you. Let me tag me in is what the universe is saying. You wouldn't have to be so strong and stay so strong. Your strength comes from the universe within. So start by flying first class. Then move your way up to a small plane. Then move your way up to owning the, slowly expand yourself. This is where you can actually do the work because since you love to do most of it, <laughs> and I had to learn too, I'm a Capricorn. All right, we're so great at that. And you don't have to be these signs, but once again, this just means you're focused on the practical world. Money, career, house, car, clothes, um, food, survival. That, that's just all 3D things, right? So with the devil card, there's, there's a need to really connect with what emotionally fulfills you because that actually pays off more than you think it does just because you don't see it in coins and numbers, okay, so there's different ways of receiving. So you slowly expanding yourself to receive what? The private jet, for those of you who are desiring it, the multiple homes, the hotels. Some of you guys have really, it's not even big. Let's not even call them that. To you, they may seem like that, but to the universe, it's not big. The universe has created all of creations. So with love and kindness, see the signs. Yeah, I even said this is coming from love. Didn't I say that? I even had to let you know. I even had to give disclaimers. I don't usually have to do that, but whoever you are, they were necessary so that you understand, hey, this is coming from a place of love. You are here to live your dream, to be elated, to be excited, to not have to work hard 
to get what you desire because what you desire is already part of you. Now, we don't have time to dissect that. You guys got a lot of questions over here. You could be an Aquarius. We don't have time to really break that down, but that's why I said the tarotchest.com or you can catch a webinar every month. This stuff that you're talking about, you're asking to be, you're, you are connecting yourself with fulfillment, which comes from such a higher place. This is coming from the unseen world. A lot of your desires are coming from the unseen world. So to understand that, you must understand the unseen world. Let's see where your path is leading you. We have awakening at the bottom, yes. Awakening to what? Your emotional fulfillment. Why are you doing this? Take out the money, would you still be doing it? And that's where you have to let the universe in because when you let the universe in, it's like saying, I'm gonna be honest with myself. No, I wouldn't. Okay, cool. Now we get, we're getting, you should be excited about that because we're getting closer to what you truly do desire because what you desire literally desires you. So as soon as you move towards them, it literally will show up, which is why if you have a really nice car in mind and you're like, I'm getting ready to buy this, you will start seeing that car pop up everywhere. Why? It's looking for you because it's meant for you, <laughs> literally. So what is this path leading them to, card one? You don't see the path. You don't even see where you're going. You don't have to see. That's where you have to really allow yourself to connect. Birthing a new age, new creations, dreaming a new world into being. You are creating a new life through your dream portal. This is where manifestation happens. Everything that was created here had to have come from an imaginative place. It had to come from a thought. So your path, look at this, trust your path. I'm telling you guys, at this point, the universe needs to just come down here itself. <laughs> and that's where I come in. Trust your path. If you knew, you would be supported. Meaning if you knew, first of all, six of wands, victory, public recognition, that was the card I pulled before I started this reading, six of wands. If you knew it worked out, if you honestly knew it worked out, what would you do? That's how you should be living your life is what I'm hearing, card number one. All right, so that's where your path is taking you. So what else are you going through in your spiritual world? Okay, lots of trust coming through, lots of trust. Anything else, what's going on in their spiritual shift universe? Thank you, okay, we have two cards. What's going on? Celebration. Remember I just said public recognition and success? Celebrate, you should be celebrating because you know it's gonna work out. You know there's nothing for you to do. We have distance, separation, discord, divide. All right, so there's a, there's a lack of harmony with letting the universe in. Again, you, you're on a team here, you're co-creating. Your creation abilities are coming from the universe. So you are co-creating. It only becomes a lot of work and burdensome and concerning when we are doing someone else's job. That's why it's so discomforting to figure out, to try to figure out, to try to plan, to try to know that it's discomforting because it's exhausting and it's not meant for you to figure out. It's literally given to you. So whether that's a logo name or an idea or a new path or a new house, or where to go next, that is gonna to come to you from a channeling. The truth is, is that in order for it to come to you, you must be in a high enough vibration to receive it. It's like the universe coming down and then you bringing your hand up. You have to, you have to bring your energy up to receive, all right? Even for me to do these readings, I have to be in a very fragile, delicate place. My phone is on do not disturb for days at a time. That's how connected I, I am. Like I'm very, very, very connected. And this has nothing to do with being spiritual. What does that even mean? Spiritual, let's not make this a religious thing. Let's not make this some cult where you have to look a certain way and do something. No, it's being authentic. It's being you. It's speaking about the unseen world, spiritual, the unseen what we can't see physically that we can feel. That's just being spiritual. Hey, you're connected to a world. So it has nothing. In fact, it defeats the purpose of spirituality to make it physical. It has nothing to do with physical things. Nothing at all. 
So we got to get down to the truth. It's not about being right. It's not about being wrong. Because when you're connected and aligned with the truth, you will always be right. But once again, what does being right get you? Okay? That, uh, only the ego cares about being right. It's about being true. What's true? Because what's true will feel good to me. Even if it doesn't feel good to my ego, it'll feel good to me. That's how I know. God is good. It feels good. You will never make it. Does that feel good? No. Stop believing it. You're a failure. Does that feel good? No. Stop believing it then. See, when I say God is good and you guys say God is good, I'm trying to tell you, no, God is good. So any bad, you will not, you are not, is not God. So that right there clears up at least 99% of everything in our lives. That's the truth. It's crazy how easy it is, but we're overlooking it. And I'm not going to get too much into this talking and breaking it down because you are pulling this out of me. You want to know. You're a little philosopher, card one. You want to just know. So go learn and know. Look at this woman holding a coin. You know more because of who you are. You want to know. You're just like, oh, wow, yeah, give me more truths. Yeah, light worker, earth angel, not everybody is on that frequency of wanting to dive deeper. A woman holding a coin, but all of this is connected to your abundance. Go share. Go share. Stop saying you're not an expert. You don't know this. You got to go do more of this. Does that feel good? No. Does it feel good to say, well, you have to go through all of these years of doing what you don't want to do to get what you do? Oh, I think that kind of feels good. No, it doesn't. It only, it's, it's going to feel real bad until it feels good, which is the very ending, which is when you get paid, but then you still go right back into the same loop. Okay? <laughs> it's just crazy. Oh, my God. Cornucopia, utopia. All right? This is what you're meant to do here. Look at this. Look at this. Strategy in reverse. Spirit, man. This is why I love to do readings when I'm aligned. When I'm not forcing it, when I don't have to get the channels up, even the predictions, I got to do them sooner because of the pressure of the pull. It's like, damn, the more free you are, the easier it is to channel, the easier it is to hear. It feels exciting. You get a different version. So this is all a message. Now, what's crazy to me is it's so crazy. You are moving into so much abundance, abundance a lot of, a lot of wealth, a lot of resources, a lot of opportunities. And it's meant to be utopia. You have a lot of fruit that you are getting ready to attract. You probably just heard me say something about fruit in your life. A lot of fruit is coming from your rewards. You're getting ready to receive a long-weighted harvest. You are getting ready to receive that. But look at this. Spirit's like, it's not coming through strategy. It's coming through your third eye third eye. You have to see beyond the 3D. What does it even mean to be successful? What energy is success even vibrating in? What's that vibration feel like? It's probably going to feel easy if you're successful at it, okay? If it's easy and you're always successfully completing it, instead of comparing yourself to others, look within yourself and see what gifts did God give you? Those are what's naturally going to be successful, okay? If you love to knit, if you love to yarn, not everyone does. So there, there's a clue. You're probably going to be the best at it because that's for you, okay? Whatever you're obsessively focused and connected with is where your energy should be, whatever you love, okay? Obsession doesn't have to be bad. I don't know why we turn all the good things into bad. Now we have a shadow self we have to tackle. It's like, you know, it's easy. And I think it's so easy that people are just, they can't accept that. And once you can accept more ease into your life by understanding everything's being revealed to you, it's already destined. The universe is literally showing you through signs. But if you're not listening, you won't see them. How do I know God's talking? It's the truth. People who don't want to hear the truth usually are not connected to God or the universe. And if they are, maybe just a little bit. Truth is the voice of God in the most practical sense. It is the voice, okay, that you should be looking for. Is this true? Does it feel good? No, then it's not true. Now, sometimes it doesn't feel good to the ego, and that's where it can be confusing. 
but to the soul, it is for your best. It is in that, that you would have to be honest with yourself in order to receive that. So it's coming through your third eye is what I'm getting. So it's all happening for you to be able to see and to see beyond the step in front of you. And the universe is guiding you because it's already seen. Okay, so this is what I'm getting for you, card number one. I definitely feel like if you want to know more, the tarotchest.com has tons of videos where I post on there. It's very limited videos about accessing some of your gifts and your powers. You can find that down below. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to card number two, which is probably where your next path and destiny is leading you to, actually. So I'm going to move on to card two. Card two, this is your energy reading. I'm already getting messages. Greatness, of course. Card two, look at you up there. Okay, so this card that I created, card two, is a symphony of victory, success, public recognition, acknowledgement of one's craft is what I'm getting. Of all time, greatest of all time. Some of you have a desire to put that next to your name. It has nothing to do with ego. It has everything to do with the fulfillment of feeling your greatest accomplishment. Now, accomplishment is what we have to talk about. So let's see, who are you becoming in this shift within yourself? What is happening? Yes, you are going through a rebirth. You are getting the opportunity, love at the bottom. Okay, we'll take it. You are getting the opportunity to allow yourself to leap into the version of you that is your greatest version. And that is what's happening right now. You are actually going through a rebirth and you have to get to know you before the other people around you. So, wow, I already have people wanting to know what you're doing. This is interesting. I have some eyes peeking through the windows. <laughs> um, is what, see these cards, they just bring something completely different out of me. So. I'm already feeling like people are looking to see what you're gonna do next. And you don't even know, you have a little bit of an idea, you're like, oh, but I'm not really sure. And I see that the universe is giving it to you in like a frame. So these are coming in pixels, okay? And the way, where are you seeing it? Your imagination. This is where you're gonna see it the most. So how often are your eyes closed? How often are your eyes closed this is where you're going to see you. Who are you becoming? Go within. Close your eyes. Close those eyes and look within. All of your answers are within is what I'm getting card to. It's not coming from anything external. Your external reality is just a reflection. Okay, we don't have time to break all this enlightenment stuff down. But what I'm showing you and what I'm hearing and feeling in your energy is that you're going through a rebirth, meaning you have to get to know this version of you. There are things you are letting go that you maybe once did that you thought you enjoyed once upon a time. You could be an author. You could be a director. You could be an athlete. You could be a fashion designer. You could be an artist. You could be a rock climber. It doesn't matter. You a lot of you could be athletes for sure, okay? You're meant to be a champion is what I'm hearing. You're meant, you're connected so much to the universe, you can't fail. You're already too connected. First of all, if you're on, if you're hearing me right now, you are connected. It doesn't matter if this is your first time here. You are connected to the universe. You would not have attracted myself into your vibration. You wouldn't even be ready to hear this. You'd be like, oh my goodness. So that's why I always say and believe there's no such thing as choosing the wrong deck. If you're meant to hear it, you're meant to hear it. You have to trust that everything is meant to be. This is what's gonna give you a lot of clarity and a lot of ease. So be gentle with yourself. Be patient with yourself. You are morphing, is the word, into a new version of you you've never met before. So you definitely couldn't, re you couldn't introduce them to the people that once knew you. So if you're having complications with connections or you might find yourself because you're changing. Your connections are changing as well. And so it says you have brilliance to share with the world. So author, director, artist, teacher, do not stereotype these words, all right? Do not stereotype these words. You are the director of your life. 
and you are co-directing with the universe. And that's what's leading you to success. You have the universe on your side. You couldn't lose if you tried, okay? See the light in all things. Acknowledge your self-worth and grace. The next thing is you must feel worthy of receiving this version of you. And I also see a lot of people are going to want to, a lot of worthy people are coming into your life as well. So you could be um, manifesting some affluent people into your life because you're vibrating in greatness. We have hesitation. How'd this card get in here? Now, this is a perfect example of the universe. Is it a mistake? Oh, no, let's put it. No. This card out of all decks and this card, hesitation comes up. You're hesitating to take this leap of faith into this version of you, into this new life, card two. Decision, confusion, and worry. So let's see what this is about. This is what the rebirth is. So yeah, ace of swords, a new perspective is what you're gonna have. You're gonna see the world completely different. You're gonna see your connections completely different. All right, it's something that's coming in. Nine of cups, six of swords. You're moving away from anything that is unpleasant and that does not feel good because you're moving towards greatness. So anything that is not resonating, see a lot of people don't know what they're asking for. You're asking for success. You're asking for love. You're asking for a wish come true, all right? To be at the top of whatever it is that you're here to do. Some of you are really overlooking it. You're like, well, I don't think I'm those things. It's like, there is still time for you to, to, for you to discover who you are. Some of you are still getting to know this version of you, which is why patience is very necessary. Patience with you. Get to know yourself on a deeper level is what spirit is saying because you heal with the power of love and loving yourself. So you're going through a rebirth right now. Nothing will be the same. What is this rebirth gonna entail? What does your future self want you to know here? We have something here. Don't overlook what you have to offer for it is valuable. That's something I said in card one. Don't overlook what you have to offer. It is valuable. Have faith in your dreams is coming out. What else do you want them to know? Spirit, they're here. It's not a coincidence these messages are coming out. You are safe and protected by the most high. There is no such thing as competition. See, this is what I love about being aligned with the truth. Once you know the truth, it's like, mm. there's no such thing as competition. You're programmed to compete. If you're the best, you wouldn't be competing. There's nothing to compete for. You are who you are, and you're called to do that. So if you're wondering why you're looking in certain industries and in certain places, and you're like, I wonder why no one has done this yet, because you're meant to do it. I wonder why no one has written a book about, because you're meant to do it. I wonder why... No one has written a song because you're meant to do it. You channeled the idea. You did. But have faith in it. Trust that you're being safe and protected, okay? You will not have to compromise who you are and your integrity for this success. You will not have to be a slave for this success. It is truly aligned with what you're meant to do. Let's get some more clues here. What is this path that spirit is leading you to? Okay, we have the initiation. So this is what this is, a leap of faith. Where are you leading them to? Okay, they're on top of the mountain. Where are you leading them to? Get grounded in path. You're being led to creating heaven on earth. Wow, spirit, you are really showing out today. Creating heaven on earth. So those of you who have been connected to me for a long time, my purpose and vision has always been home which is heaven on mother earth and bringing that here. And that is truly what's aligned with my highest purpose here is to bring this. And so I also see that you could be an earth angel. So I believe you're being called to the forefront because you have the light. Even if you think you have a little bit of light and truth, and you know, a little bit of enlightenment, like I said, if you've been connected to me, you definitely know the light, period. The light is the truth, the ultimate truth. And so what's meant for you is meant for you. Nobody can take it and you don't have to compete for it. That's the truth. Doesn't it feel good though? Because you're not going to be able to rely on tarot readers to tell you this anymore, card two. You have to know this for yourself. And how else will you know? There's a lot of authors and they're saying a lot of things, but a lot of it is not the truth. And most of them are best-selling authors. And you know more truth than they do. So this tells me 
you also have a best-selling book within you, song within you, movie within you, cookbook within you, class, service, teaching, education, healing. And again, you following your dreams is what's going to help other people. Stop worrying about other people. Listen, card two. <laughs> they have a connection to the universe as well. All right? I'm, I'm feeling this in my gut turning right now. Okay, it's not your job to save anyone. Your victory lap, you're on your victory lap is what I'm hearing. The ribbon is in front of you and you're looking back to see who's there, okay? Or, or to go get them, to bring them along. You're going through a rebirth. This new version of you will not allow you to compromise your, your dreams and your, your desires because the fulfillment from just doing it just being able to do it. So you're gonna do it and then you're gonna receive from doing it. So this is a lot of overwhelming love that you're preparing for. You don't even realize what you're doing. You're expanding to receive more accomplishments. Get used to people saying, you're good at that. Okay, some of you are the best of all time and you, you gotta get used to being this version of you. Well, what does that mean? When people say, you're great at that, you don't quench up. You know. You're like, yeah, I am good at that. Thank you. I actually enjoy doing it too. This is about learning and knowing who you are. You're meant for success. We have the lightning strike out of the sky. It's divine intervention. This is why you're here. You're awake in the dream, which means you're aware of the dream. Most people are still asleep in the dream. You're aware. Wake up. Hey, this is me. I get to, I get to be the greatest at this. Yes. But if you're worried about saving, helping people, you living your passions is helping people. You have to see that you can choose you and help people too. All right, card two, where is this path leading you to? We have the mirror. What is triggering you and who is triggering you? Answer the call we have at the bottom of the deck. Answer the call. All right, some of you guys have ancestors who have laid the foundation. Your grandmother could be very connected. You could be connected right now to your grandma, whoever, Grandma, okay, shout out to grandma because she has connected you, grandpa, to, um, to a more of a higher connection with the universe, with God. Even if it was the best of their ability in a religious way or they didn't know, someone around you with a grandmother spirit is connecting you to the universe as a guide, as an ancestor, or someone in your actual life has laid the foundation for you to get closer with the universe. So this tells me that everything was perfectly aligned for you. And some of you don't even realize you getting these accomplishments in and how it benefits the world is when you get that trophy, when you get that reward, which you, you guys don't even care about. <laughs> That's the best part because you, you're doing what you love to do. This is, I'm, I'm channeling your highest version and you're doing what you love to do and you're having so much fun doing it and then you're like, oh dang, and I get paid for it? And I get to help people by saying, hey, follow your dreams, the universe is guiding you every step of the way, even when you take a leap of faith, there'll be a safety net right under your feet. So the universe is guiding you and it's a very beautiful connection that is destined for your experience here on earth or whatever it is that you feel called to saying. And now, not only are you doing what you love, you're receiving from it and you're inspiring others. You're moving others. So you may not realize that you choosing you and be the, being the greatest you benefits others, but it does. It's not selfish. We gotta let go of that word selfish. You actually, card two of all people, know you're not selfish, right? You know you're not selfish. You know you're not. So don't let people ever say that, even now in this time where you're choosing yourself. So let's see if there's anything else that's going to be coming. Anything else? The tower. Isn't that crazy? And of course, no cards on the back. So I said this, the tower lightning. If you guys go back and look at your card, there's literally lightning over your card. And I was very drawn to channeling this energy and it's divine intervention okay divine intervention this is god's doing this is the universe is doing let the universe come in and do its part is what i'm hearing you can't stop it if you wanted to it's like in your dream you don't even die in your dream you wake up okay you can never die you can never fail 
once you know this truth, you will be soaring through the skies. All right. So this is what I'm getting for you guys. Card number two. I really, really hope this inspired you. There's a lot of blue around your card, which is giving me throat chakra speaking up. All right. Speaking up, sharing your voice is very, very important. The universe is using you to share your voice. So you don't even know there is a speech you may be giving that's 10 seconds that changes the perspective of the world. You have no idea. And that's the fun and the mystery of this exciting life. You're meant to live an exciting life is what you're meant to do. And so you're getting a new perspective and a new path that's clearing the way for you, moving away from what is not benefiting you, what is not fulfilling you, not even doing it. If it doesn't feel good, let it go. If it's not good, it's not God. Words, doubts, fears, if it's not good, it's not God. Fear does not come from God or the universe. So, so once you know more of this, you will feel confident and more safe knowing that you're actually being guided to do this. You're being guided to do this. You're being celebrated, celebrated to do this. Okay, who are you becoming? And we're gonna clear out. <clears throat> I'm being called to getting the Priestess of Light deck, which I only use when someone is really connected psychically. So what is here for them? Sacred gratitude, reverent appreciation, prayer. You have a very sacred connection to the universe. All right. And we also have loss, lack, fear, and victimization. I just said this. Fear, victimization does not come from spirit. Fear does not come from God. So loss and lack does not come from God. You have the owl sitting right here on your shoulder, which tells me you have a lot of wisdom. You have a lot of sacred wisdom. And all you have to do is be happy and thankful. And it's not for the universe. Gratitude is not for the universe. Like, okay, I've seen you've been grateful. You've been grateful. Here you go. No, that's our parents. <laughs> okay. Those are our parents. The universe is not that way. The universe is gratitude is for you because you believe it's not here yet. And in order for you to feel good while it's arriving, because the truth is, is if it's here, it's arriving, but you have to receive it. And if you're just looking for it to come through one place, one career, one person, one door, one car, the universe literally has to be limited to delivering your blessings. And so with that being said, Gratitude allows you to feel good even if it appears that it's not there. So it's for you to feel good and feeling good only draws everything closer. You're a magnet and the universe is a vibrational creation. And when you feel good, you attract good. When you feel bad, you attract bad. And that's just the way it goes. But the truth is, is that a lot of things contribute to your vibration, as I've said many of times. What someone said, um, what you wore that day, what you ate that day, how you feel is determined and could be changed by many things. And so when you master your spiritual connection, it's just, it, you become untouchable. You just don't see it anymore. Um, it's not in your energy field. You're just at a, such a high vibration of greatness. That's all you see. So lack, victimization can't even call your phone. You'll miss the call. Like, dang, I missed their call again. Yes, because you're, you're flying so high. They can't even reach you, literally, because they're not in the vibration. And the universe works the same way. Sometimes I have people get, have calls and I'm excited and they're just like, oh, hey, waiting for my manifestations. And it's like, well, this is why it's not coming. You have to feel good. You want to always, well, what can I do to make it come sooner? Feel good. Feel good. Because when you feel good and I feel good, the messages are flying. They're just whoop, coming through like, oh my gosh, the, the logo, I finally figured it out. It came to me and I woke up. It's like, it'll just pour in. It's channeling. You have that ability. Okay, so if you guys are looking for more videos on how to connect with that, you can find that on thetarotchest.com. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to the last card, card three. Card three, this is your energy reading for what the universe wants you to know about what's currently happening in your life right now within yourself, within your identity. The first thing I was picking up from this card was just simply 
your ships are coming in. Your relationships are probably going to be changing the most. I also noticed that you're the only image that doesn't really have an identity on it. And so I do see that you are still discovering who you are becoming. You could have definitely been going back and forth between two, and you could just simply have landed here because you're still on the video and you still wanna hear the messages. So if that's the case, let's see, who are you becoming, card three? If they were drawn, I'm gonna read this initially like this is your first card. Thank you, yes. So you've been a chameleon in a sense. Where you go, you become, and it's just been about a lot of other people, which is why I don't think you're relevant here. I'm picking up a lot of five of wands energy too. So just a lot of other people's energy, other people's opinions, other people's say. And I just see the universe really stripping all of that away, stripping all those labels away, all right? So who else are you becoming in this time? Thank you. All right, so you are going through a pretty big transformation card three. I'm hearing that this journey, this destination is about you. All right, so this is something that you're courageously going through. You could be the first in the family to do something very powerful, very meaningful, all right? So once again, we have embrace your transformation. I embrace my transformation. So this transformation of who you're becoming is a much more optimistic version of you, someone who believes in magic more, more or less, all right? So this isn't about being realistic, even that word. What does that mean? Is love realistic? It's not real love because you can't, what, taste it, touch it, feel it. So some of these words are tripping us up here. So put on your new cloak. So you're the master of regeneration. You've went through and undergone many identity shifts. And every single one of them, I'm hearing, you've evolved much more. So... Give yourself a pat on the back. That's something as well. Do not be so hard on yourself. You're exactly where you should be, exactly where you need to be. All paths lead to the final path, which is your truest desire, okay? So you must trust all paths lead to the right path. That is the right path. Your desire, your excitement, what feels good. So with this being said, you are no longer becoming who you're around. You are changing the people around you by who you're becoming. That's very powerful. So your presence is changing alone. The magic of nature is within you. You're brilliant, you're blessed. So you are getting a new set of eyes to see that you are blessed, to also see that things are working out in your good, to trust more in the magic and to get away from the conflict all right, so there's some ships that you had in your past that were on, were on fire, relationships. So it says soul path, the faded life versus the destiny life. So this is already faded for you. All right, so what is faded? What is faded? What is faded for card three? Okay, obviously I'm going in a completely different direction because your energy is completely different. So card three, what is faded for them? Universe, thank you, that flew out. Divine mother, nurturing, compassion, and grace. So giving yourself grace, once again, being gentle with yourself, knowing that you're exactly where you need to be and you've come a very long way. You have new creations on the way is what I'm getting. A new you is being birthed. A new you is being born. What's going on on the surface in the 3D world, okay? So things that are becoming overwhelming, it's time to let go of whatever is burdening you. Whatever is burning you, now is the time to let it go. Once again, out of all three cards, this one gives me the most conflict. This one feels the most chaotic. And it's not even your energy. It's because of who you are. You're nurturing, you're compassionate. You could be a Sagittarius, but just drawn to a lot of people, but you have to choose yourself is what I'm getting. Cancer, also you can be here. We have the chariot energy, but just, yes, helping people, but you must be your first. Even as a healer, you're your first client. You should feel healed yourself that is your first client so when you feel healed you will be ready to show others is also something that i'm seeing here we have the king of cups so yeah pisces scorpio and cancer energy here just being really drawn in the emotional sense very connected to your 
your feminine energy and it's like it's a gift but around the right people around the right influences so let's get one more card for what's going on you're being called to move forward we also have leo energy here with the strength card so spirit universe is giving you strength and courage throughout this time to move forward to move forward towards what spirit to move towards what thank you fourth chakra opening your heart to love wow that's deep because what's crazy is i have two different decks here and then it's like they're telling a whole story as you can see okay you're moving towards you're opening your heart your fourth chakra the green energy here believing in magic believing in good things actually happen we believe in the bad so easily why can't we believe in the good so easily why can't a miracle happen today why can't a miracle happen by tonight why can't a miracle happen by tomorrow so believing in the good as much as we believe in the bad because that's also why we attract the bad is by seeing it being a part of it putting our energy there um tell yes tv television it's telling a vision and most of the time it doesn't feel good which means it's not aligned. So you're being asked to move forward to opening your heart, remembering who you are. You, you have a gift of love. You're the angel of love. So a lot of people who have not found love in themselves will heavily be attracted to you, card three, heavily, because they, they have not taken the time to find it within themselves. And then with you, it's like all of this love and compassion you're giving to others, it's giving it to yourself. You will feel so much more fulfilled and still have an overflow to give. So I'm sensing that you're even opening yourself to a new story in love, okay? So out of all three decks, you're the only one where we have angel of love and love begins. So this is about moving forward away from something that is conflicting the world. You're done with this cycle. You've learned all that you can learn from this individual, from this situation, from this workplace, whatever it may be that is not aligned. Again, it's bringing conflict, only you know. Only you can be honest about what this could be with the Ten of Wands. We have the world card here. We'll take it. There's, there's a cycle that you're completing right now in your love life. Okay, you're giving the courage and the strength to move forward. So what is here with the Ten of Wands? What is this ending? Thank you. Four of Cups, what's no longer satisfying to you? Okay, it's just not satisfying. I always say the Four of, four of Cups is like rating a dinner a, a four out of a ten. It's just not. It's doing the job but it's not really fulfilling. So there's something and you only know what that is and I see that you're moving towards love. Being in love with your life, okay, is what I'm getting, and in love with a person. You are meant to experience these things and that's what you're moving towards. What's happening in this love life? Connection, messages, listen. Okay, we have a lot of distractions. We're listening. We're listening. Direction, you're being re-guided. You could have been coming from card one. So we have direction, navigation, guidance, and signs. So you're being re-guided, but what is guiding you is your heart. You have to listen to your heart. Now, in the past, from a logical point of view, you may have thought you listened to your heart and got hurt. This seems to be a common denominator. The truth is, is that even that door you walk through that was going to result in hurt had signs as you were approaching the door, as you were unlocking the door, as you were entering the door. Universe wants you to know you are being guided by unconditional love and that is also the truth. And sometimes when we want something to work out so bad, we're not open to the truth of it. But the truth is always going to be in our highest desire, even if it's not that person or that situation. It's just being open to trusting the universe is doing and trusting that it's for the benefit. So once again, there are always signs when following your heart. And so there's something about you getting hurt or some, something that has to be released here about when you follow your heart, bad things happen. I don't know where this is coming from. But it's like, that's us trying to force things to happen. The truth is about this word delusional is that's when we're trying to change 3D circumstances to fit. That's delusional. Not 
imagining yourself in a loving, unconditional connection that lights your flame, that excites you. That's the word. Let's separate it because people think, oh yeah, I'm happy. Okay, excitement. Let's just say excitement. Excitement can only come from God and the universe and a very strong connection on the same frequency. That's excitement. So that's what you're desiring, but it's like a lot of excitement is coming through drama, TV, television, whatever it may be. So it's like, what type of excitement are you desiring? And so this is something, uh, again here, you're going through a very major awakening within self of what it is that you truly desire and what love means to you. It's meant to be easy, compassionate, effortless, and exciting. And so you are an angel of love. You are meant to walk in love. And even if it looks like it didn't work out, it just simply wasn't meant for you. It's not that it's not working. It's just that that door was not for you. But even if you decided to walk through it, the universe is so orchestrated that that door that you think was wrong actually still led to the right path. So this is where you have to let go of anything you've done in the past and decisions that you've made and circumstances that you found yourself in because now you know what that door looks like. Now you, and you love to help people, card three, so now you can, when people are coming down that hallway and they're going down that door, you can say, hey, you, you don't wanna go down that door. And they're gonna say, well, how do you know? And you're like, because down that door, and they're gonna say, how do you know? And you're just telling them the truth because you've been down there. You've already seen. So it's like you, a lot of people I'm hearing will spare misery and suffering if they just listen to you. You are an angel of love is what I'm getting. And that's why you attract a lot of people who also don't love themselves and they want you to love them. They want you to provide all of that feeling and only the universe can do that. So you shouldn't have to save people to feel love, right? So let's just see what's happening. Cause I wanna pull, they're telling me to go to a special deck for you card three. All right, Alice in Wonderland deck. What is going on here for card three? Clock, time. You are not running out of time. You have plenty of time. All right, that's something also that's coming through here. You have plenty of time. You're not running out of time. Let's get an overall message for card three. Whoa. All must have prizes trying to please everyone. See? It's like when you're called to bring the truth, it's like, but the truth is your friend. It's just not your friend if you don't follow it at first. Because then it's like your foundation, if it's not built on truth, it will crumble. It's, and so it's like you can save yourself a lot of heartache by just following the truth before. But sometimes that could be very challenging. So all must have prizes. You're like, it's not fair, whatever that may be. Okay, I definitely am getting picking up card one vibes. But it's like everyone has a connection to their true self. Everyone has a connection to the path. I'm seeing you will lead the path and people will follow. And so I'm definitely seeing you cannot please everybody. Please yourself and others will naturally be pleased just because of that. You will be in such a great authentic place that it inspires them naturally without having to even say or do anything. That's how powerful your energy is. It's like magic. So you have to embrace this transformation. And, and what I'm seeing is like a snake shedding its skin. That skin is connected to old beliefs, old doubts, and old people. And so those people are going away with this old version of you as well. So no need to fear. Remember how powerful you are is what spirit wants you to know. So you are being led to love and unconditional love. And any time a door seems to be closing, it's always the universe providing a better one. But you, you must trust and know the universe loves you. You have to really know that. And, and you have to really know that. Because you're trusting your life with this source of energy. So you have to get to know this source of energy. Okay, let's see where their energy is shifting. Okay, in themselves. The temple path, all right? So the temple path is the, once again, we've been talking a lot about paths, the right path. All paths lead to the true path. Follow the truth and you'll be on your truest path. And what is your truest path? I keep getting innovation. You're meant to go first. You're a pioneer, okay? Innovation, you're meant to go first. So if you're looking for someone else to do it, you may not find that. 
You're meant to travel. You're meant to explore with the world card here. Your life is meant to be an adventure. Let's see, last card, who they're transitioning. Look at this. I can't, I can't. I'm out of here. Prosperity, let go of the past, embrace change, card three. Opportunities are close at hand. Hop in this new day with joy. Abundance and good fortune awaits. Look at the back. Prepare for your life partner. Beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirits of light. Abandon a darkness. You are the sovereign of the seen and unseen world. Go beyond the ordinary and become legendary. Unicorn magic. You are meant to experience a magical life. People around you may be skeptics, may be realists. It's not for them. That's why they won't see magic. Okay? So you are a pathfinder. That's why you want to know if you're on the right path and path and path, temple path, path, path. What is the right path? The path of your highest excitement in your love life. What would that look like? What would that feel like? What brings you excitement? Release your past. Here's another one. And start a new journey. You are a teacher. How are you teaching? By simply helping others find their way. There will be challenges, but is it your job to go in a burning house and try to extinguish it no you have to allow people to come to you to be on this path because i see that once again trying to save people trying to please they will you will know when someone's ready to be helped but know that they also have a connection to the universe here so perseverance is your secret power you have a love that endures once again angel of love you have a love that is meant for a whole planet and trying to give it to just one person, they have to be ready to receive all that. To give it to the people closest to you, they have to be open and, re and receptive to you without a perspective of you. Some people don't even perceive you the correct way because they don't even believe love is even possible. And it's crazy, but then you come. And so there's just, there's a lot of learning who you are, all right? You've, you've went through a lot perseverance but you shouldn't have to go through all of that to find the answer spirit is helping you and communicating uh, and i'm just sensing like the house does not have to burn down to the ground before you finally get out or ask for help and so you you are finding your path no one around you may have even found the path to what what is this path to the temple path where is this path leading spirit as we're closing where is this path leading for card three home i love it pillar of light your vibration is right rising a longing for home belonging connecting being able to be yourself being able to be pure you're a light worker okay earth angel someone who comes to earth someone who holds the light compassion purity it has nothing to do with what you look like physically it is your kindness it is your desire to help people and sometimes we think saving them or pleasing them is helping them, but it's enabling them away from their connection with their own self and source, God, universe, whatever you choose to call it. So there's a lot that you're learning, and I definitely see that you could be very connected to just bringing the light, bringing the truth, and being free, bring, being at peace, feeling free, and you just living that and being the example of it is helping others, but also helping you. This is the correct path. It'll benefit all, but mostly it'll benefit you is what I'm hearing. So if you guys are drawn to the tarotchest.com, there's more videos about your gifts, depending on if they're there, because they're all limited. So whenever they're there, they're available. If you guys want to check those out in the meantime, I'll catch you guys in another reading. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe. This was definitely a dope reading. I'm hoping you guys were inspired. You received clarity and you also just feel the same tingling that I feel anytime I connect with the universe. It is magical. It is literally nothing else like anything else you'll experience in this world, which is why it comes through um, euphoric and orgasmic experiences, okay? Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ow.